What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So with the recent announcement of the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Extreme Z Awakening, it's only a matter of time before this man right here, AGL Super Vegito, gets an EZA of his own. So the question in my mind is how much more insane could they actually make this unit considering as old as he is and he's coming up on two to two and a half years in this game now, he is still an absolutely amazing unit, still an absolute beast, and he still pretty much destroys every Dokkan event in this game. So what would his EZA look like? But anyways, in this video, I just want to quickly showcase to you guys that AGL Super Vegito is still a very much relevant unit. He is still super, super strong. He still can do a lot of damage. He can still tank extremely well and uh, maybe have a quick discussion about what we can expect as far as an Extreme Zeal with thing goes. Now, I don't have any insider information. I don't know anyone at Bandai, so no one's told me anything about it. But I am curious to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any predictions or any ideas for what you think an AGL Super Vegito EZA could potentially be. And uh, maybe in a couple months or in half a year when they do eventually give this guy the EZA, and you guys can come back to this video, check the comments, and see if you were right. And if you were right, then um, congratulations, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I can't really give you guys any prizes or anything like that. But you can just feel good about yourself uh, about the fact that, you know, you got the prediction right. And also, it also probably means that you are a Bandai spy. To be honest, it's actually a way for me to suss out, to like expose all the Bandai spies on my channel. So there's also that. Just kidding. But guys. Here is physical, I mean sorry, AGL Super Vegito, physical ones, the new one. But look at this guy, so he got one super off, did about 700k, and then he gets an additional two, 861k, and of course he got the counters as well, but we didn't get to see a counter here because we didn't get attacked. But this guy's damage output, you can't just look at his super attacks, right? If you just look at his super attacks, you're like, okay, you know what? His damage output is okay, but he's not that impressive. But the main thing that makes this guy crazy is the fact that he has those counters, right? When he first dropped in the game, and if you guys are newer players, you probably don't remember this, and I don't expect you to, but when this guy first dropped in the game, he was widely considered to be the strongest unit in the game, and he held onto that title for, I gotta say, like a year, maybe a year and a half, and that was mainly because of his counters, guys. Because if you take into consideration all the damage he does on his counters, he was, without a question, the hardest hitting unit in the game for a very long time. And he's still probably somewhere in the top, I don't know, maybe 30? And if you think about how old he is, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's why I'm just like, so having such a hard time imagining what they could do with an Extreme Z Awakening, right? Because he's already so freaking good. So here, we're gonna get a chance to actually let you see his counters. Now, I don't necessarily want him to super. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I feel like the first counter is gonna kill him. So, we'll see what happens. I feel like one counter from Super Vegito might kill Goku here. And even if Goku was at full health, all those counters will probably kill him anyways. Like, this guy can actually solo a lot of events, guys. Like, this guy, by himself, if you stack him up against a lot of counters, can solo a bunch of events in this game still. And there we go, we got a 952k um, crit on the super, and also I think the counter did about 300k or so. And if you factored in all the counters that we didn't get in, um, those would have done probably a couple hundred k each to like, you know, his total might have been like 2-3 million at the end of it. Just a crazy unit, <laughs> just a crazy unit. By the way, if you guys don't know what he does, and I, I don't want to assume that everybody knows what like every single unit I'm showcasing does, because you know, there's a lot of newer players and you guys never know uh, how much experience someone has when they're watching these videos. So let me just give you guys a quick rundown. So his leader skill is AGL types key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. So he was, of course, an OG 70% lead, or what we used to call OG god leads. His super attack is immense damage and increases allies' attacks by 30% for one turn. So everybody in that rotation gets a 30% attack boost. And his passive reduces damage from normal attacks by 80%, guys. 80%, that's one of the highest damage reductions in the game. Of course, this doesn't include um, this doesn't include super attacks, so he's not gonna be that good of a tank against super attacks, but he does tank normal attacks extremely, extremely well, and there's no restriction on this. So, I mean, it's not like a certain number of turns or like how much HP you have. He's always gonna tank normal attacks for 80%, look at that. Okay, so he tanked the normal attack 
with type disadvantage for 9 damage and then countered with a 600k super right there and an additional attack went up to 976k. He does buff himself a little bit as well with the first super and Vegeta's dead. Oh my god, this guy's so good. So freaking good. Now, um, I want to keep going. So tremendous power with a counter. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, prepare for battle, power bestowed by God, Fuse Fighter, um, what else? Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle. I'm not gonna lie, I do have a little sticky at the side I always use for these showcases because I want to make sure I give you guys the most accurate information possible and I don't always remember like all the details of every single card. So forgive me guys, but those are his links, very, very good links. So he links extremely well with a lot of top tier units in this game. And he has two categories at the moment, Majin Buu Saga, and Patara. So kind of limited as far as categories go, but I mean, <laughs> he's in pretty much one of the best categories in the game, which is Patara, which is what we're running him on right now. So does it really matter? I don't really know. I'm, I'm sure he's going to get more categories in the future too. So I don't think it's really that big of an issue. But um, yeah, I just want to show you guys like this guy. I mean, he is really old. He is extremely, extremely old. But look how much damage he's doing. Look like what he can still do after two plus years in this game. And what is an Extreme Z Awakening gonna look like? So on his passive right now, the one thing you might notice is that he doesn't get any attack, right? He doesn't get any attack percentage boost on his passive. So potentially could they give him an attack boost finally? Probably not gonna be a flat boost because I don't they don't add flat boost for EZAs, at least not so far. So I would think like maybe somewhere between 50 to 80%. If they do any higher than that, it'd be way too busted, right? If they do any more than 80%, if they give him a hundred percent plus, this guy's already doing close to a mil on his super. So if they if you give him hundred percent, he's gonna do two mil plus the counters. This guy will be stronger than physical Vegito. He'll be stronger than probably LR Vegito if they did that. So I don't see them making him stronger than LR Vegito, but I do see them making him stronger than physical Vegito. And you guys know how good physical Vegito is. So maybe they'll do like a yeah, maybe they'll do like a physical Vegito mechanic where he gains attack with every attack received or something like that. Or maybe he'll get a dodge mechanic. I don't know. I'm just actually just talking like, you know, just randomly because I actually have no idea what they could do. I don't really have a frame of reference for what they want to do with these 70% leads. And uh, man, I'm actually just so surprised that they started doing 70% leads so early because a couple days ago on one of my streams, someone asked me, yo, when do you think these 70% OG god leads are actually going to get Extreme Z Awakenings? And I was like, yo, it's probably not going to be for a while. I mean, those guys, some of them are still really good, uh, specifically AGL Super Vegito and also Tech Super Saiyan 3 Ghost Tank. Still very good units, especially AGL Super Vegito, especially this unit you're showcasing or I'm showcasing right now, you're watching the showcase. He's still insane, and I don't use that word too lightly, but he's insane. Like, that that's that's all I can say, right? So, I didn't expect him to drop this on us so early, but it's happening. So, within the next three to four Extreme Z Awakenings, we are going to get a AGL Super Vegito EZA. And uh, it's, just, it's just crazy, guys. It's just crazy. Now, I say next four or five for sure, because there's only five OG God Leads, right? So, we're getting Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks first. And then maybe they'll do Buhan, maybe they'll do the OG Broly, who really, really needs one. That OG Broly is terrible. He is really not good. And also, um, I'm forgetting I'm forgetting the other one. Like who else? Oh, Omega Shenron, right? STR Omega Shenron's not bad, but he's not that good either. Um, so overall, like the most we can we have to wait is for three more EZAs in between. Uh, after the Gotenks one to get this one. And I expect that to happen probably within the next six or seven months or so. Let's say they do one EZA um, every single month, maybe a month and a half to two months. Then in about six or seven months, we'll get that last EZA for the 70% leads. And it's probably going to be AGL Super Vegito, maybe. They'll drop it the, as the last one because they know that most people are hyped for the Super Vegito. I don't think I'm going out of line or really like you know, making any false predictions when I say that I think most people are the most hyped for AGL Super Vegito as the Extreme Z Awakening for the 70% leads, right? I think like the majority of people are the most hyped for him. Of course, a lot of people are excited for Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, which I am as well. But I mean, hey, it doesn't come anywhere close to AGL Super Vegito, right? It doesn't come anywhere close. So when we get more details about that tanks, Tanks, why I say tanks? Uh, go tanks, Extreme Z Awakening. Then maybe I'll have a better reference for 
what the AGL Super Vegito might look like because they don't have an idea of like what they're trying to do with the 70% leads. Right now, it's completely open. It's new territory. We haven't seen a 70% lead get an EZA yet. So how crazy are they going to go? I don't really know. I'm just surprised it's happening so early. And I'll make a prediction right now. If you guys thought... Look at that counter. Oh my god. 420. 420. Um, if you guys thought that the STR Gogeta EZA was broken, man, you guys are in for a treat. Because, like I said, I don't know anything. But all I can say is that it's probably going to be even more broken, even more busted than the STR Gogeta. Because AGL Super Vegito was a better unit than STR Gogeta pre uh, Extreme Z Awakening, right? Like, both of them just as regular, like, TUR units. I would definitely say with confidence that Super Vegito hit harder than STR Gogeta. And I'm going to say with much confidence that Super Vegito after Extreme Z Awakening is going to be better than STR Gogeta's Extreme Z Awakening. So just imagine that. Just imagine that. How great is STR Gogeta's Extreme Z Awakening? So good. So freaking good. And I predict that AGL Super Vegito is going to be even better. But I don't know what's going to be. I don't know what it's going to be. Like I said, I want you guys to show me or tell me what you think, what's going to happen. Leave your predictions in the comments down below and just let your boy Tiger know. What's what's the EZA going to be like? I don't know. Nobody knows. So you guys don't really know either, but I do want to see your predictions because a lot of you are really smart. You guys know what you're talking about. A lot of you have been playing this game for a very long time. Some of you even longer than me. Like I said, I've been playing for... Actually, I didn't say that in this video, but I've said in the past... I played this game for just over two years and a month or so. So, you know, I have a good amount of experience in this game, but also there are a lot of other people that have been playing for three years or four years at this point. And uh, for those of you who have been playing for a really long time, and even if you haven't, and it doesn't really matter, but if you have been playing for a really long time, I especially want to hear your, um, your predictions because I feel like you guys have a better just like overall pool of knowledge to pull from, right? Okay. Here we have type disadvantage, so it's probably not going to be very good for damage. And you know what? 51k is not bad. 51k is not bad. And we're going to super the attack Goku here. Or 260k. All right, additional as well. But we're going to counter here. Look, we tanked type disadvantage for 28 damage. 28 damage and reflected 167k. Considering the type disadvantage, it's really not bad. It's really, really not bad. And of course, we're going to finish him off with the LR Vegito. This team is just crazy, guys. This team is just insane. And of course, Physical Super Vegito would be a better fit here because he is kind of the upgrade, right? The better version. But I mean, still, it's like AGL, AGL Super Vegito is, is no slouch, man. He's still optimal on Super AGL, like, like insanely optimal. And he just, like any team you can run him on, he's really good on. If you guys don't have Physical Super Vegito, but you have AGL, don't be that sad because AGL is like still really good. That's all I can say, guys. I'm, I'm out of compliments for this unit. I'm out of compliments for this unit. I just can't wait to see what an Extreme Z Awakening frame will look like. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. That's pretty much going to do it for the showcase. We're going to finish out this Goku here and uh, call it a day. But <laughs> man, this is the Extreme Z Awakening we've all been waiting for. No question. No question. I'm curious to see what he can do against this Goku here because we he does hit quite hard. Um, we're going to put him in front of the counters, of course, or the attacks, of course. Hopefully, we don't get supered. But if we do get supered, um, I don't know. It might be a GG. <laughs> he doesn't tank too well without the uh, normal attacks. Like, when it comes to supers, he really doesn't tank too, too well. But when it comes to normal attacks, it's one of the best tanks in the game. Like, look, look, look at double digit and low double digit too, man. 30... 24 or whatever. I don't know. I didn't notice. But <laughs> if we got a crit, that would have been nice. Um, this guy does have 15 crit and 11 additional. That's what I went with for the uh, hidden potential skills because it just makes the most sense. You want to give him as, many, as much crit as possible. Let's look at those crit counters, guys. Look at those crit counters. But, ah, oh, man. I just I just love this unit. I just, I just freaking love this unit. And also, Tech Vegito is putting in some work, guys. Tech Vegito is actually legit putting in some work. I don't know if he's rainbowed or not. If not, he's at least... At least got two or three dupes in him, so he does have quite quite a bit of additional and crit as well. We're gonna finish it off with Super Vegito. Sorry, uh, Gogeta. No, Vegito Blue. Vegito Blue. Man, I'm just so excited about the showcase. So excited about this video. So excited about this unit. So excited about a potential Extreme Z Awakening in the future. But that's gonna do it for the showcase, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure a lot of you already have this Vegito Rainbow because he is very old. Like I said, man, two plus years in this game. 
but I mean, you would you wouldn't really know based on his performance, based on the showcase. He still does some crazy, crazy things. I can't wait, can't wait to get more details about his Extreme Z Awakening. I would say at most, JP will get it in six to seven months. Um, and Global, you know, <laughs> quite some time later. We haven't even gotten tech viewers yet. <laughs> so uh, it's still quite a ways away for Global. But on JP, I'm excited to find out what's going on. And let me know what you guys think. What you guys think of the unit right now as he is. And also what his EZA could look like. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found it interesting or fun or any combination of positive things. And as always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you're gonna stay up to date with all of my latest content. That's all I gotta say. You guys are awesome. Have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.